All right, guys, today's demonstration is a single replacement reaction. So we are going to be putting zinc metal in hydrochloric acid. As you can see, we do not have any products listed yet. We know what they are. Do you? Go ahead and try to guess them, and we're going to give this to Mr. Key. Okay, to make this real, we're going to really put zinc, zinc right here, solid zinc into a balloon. Okay, so we got a good amount of zinc right here at the bottom. We're going to slap this right on top of a test tube containing six molar hydrochloric acid. So as soon as we dump this in, what do you think will happen? Okay, while this one works, we happen to have one already made. So now, the other product, is it an explosive gas or not? There's only one way to tell, and that's to light it on fire. Let's do that. So I've got a handy dandy lighter here, and I've got a candle on a stick. So let's go ahead and light this candle on a stick. Okay. Well. So what kind of gas do we have in that balloon, guys? Does anybody know? I feel like they're all yelling the right answer, don't you? I do. I feel somewhat out there. Somebody so knows. Somebody so has nice. finished that reaction. They know what's in that balloon. Let's see if we can get the wick out of the wax so we can actually get it. Yay! We got the candle lit. So now whenever we place this underneath this balloon... What do you think will happen? Well, if it's an explosive gas, we'll, we'll know it real quick. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Ah! Wow, that was great. That was so great. Woo! Let's do it again. Do it again. Do it again. All right. So what kind of gas is that? You got a fire. <laughs> There we go. Sometimes the balloons like to stay on fire. They liked it so much. What kind of gas do you think that was, Mr. Key? Wow, with the explosion what that we heard. What kind of gas is explosive? It had to be hydrogen. I think hydrogen gas. Do it again. Yes. Now, you're still it. bubbling. One more time. Here. One more time. I am going to switch yeah, let's out take and a make look sure at that. we use the big beaker yeah. this time. Okay, we're going to try the big beaker. And look at all those bubbles. Indication of a chemical change. I'm going to back up. So here we go. We're going to try it one more time. Woo! Nice. Now let's talk about as we rewrite the equation and we blow out our candles. So what did we actually make? So I'm going to use a different color here. We made zinc chloride. Well, that's in the aqueous state. That means it's a, <clears throat> a liquid there. So it's just a salt dissolved in a liquid, plus hydrogen gas. That's what you heard explode. And of course, we can't just leave it that way. We have to balance it with a beautiful two right there. Thank you for joining us for this single displacement.